find out. Well, basically, you have uh, two labs that have taken uh, an H5N1 bird flu virus, the virus you hear about occasionally, mm -hmm. infecting people in the wild, and tweaked it such that it's still very deadly, but now it's transmissible. So that is sort of what really scares doctors, that this idea that this virus could mutate out in the wild and start spreading person to person while being really very deadly. So you have those researchers having created that work. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, if they publish that, could it... So we sort of could offer kind of an ingredient list for doing that for someone who, uh, a terrorist, someone like that. Why did they do that to make it, tra I mean, uh, the whole point was it wasn't transmissible human to human. They, uh, are they assuming that it eventually will be and they're doing this so they can come up with a cure, or a, you know, a vaccine? Well, that's exactly what they're looking mm -hmm. to do. I mean, they want to better understand this virus. Does it have that capacity? If right. so, what would change? They can pass that information on to those who might be working on a vaccine or a drug. Sort of better understand your enemy is the idea with this kind of work. Okay, so what about publishing it? Mm -hmm. uh, is this censorship or, or fair? Well, I mean, for scientists take the idea of open publishing very seriously in scientific journals. I mean, this is how both your reputation gets right. gets gets done, but also this is how scientific work gets method, out there. right? This exactly. Is the whole thing yeah. I mean, if you want you. if you want the people who who sort of would be working in a vaccine or, or in any other area, they need to be able to see this work. They didn't see it in a journal, so that's why there's such concern about the idea of, of censoring any of it, really. And so, uh, are there other things where you think censorship could, if, if if they succeed here, I would imagine there'd be a lot of instances where. I think, so. I think there's definitely that, that concern. I mean, it's not the first time that they've thought about this, but this is definitely the first time you had this panel actually go out there and say, look, maybe you, the editors of this journal, should think mm -hmm. about what you actually put out there. All right. Well, thank you very much. Good to see you, Brian. Thank you.